This is the worst of them. Literally. The only thing that dies when you say, I literally died, is your claim to literacy. Besides, your friends already know you're not smart enough to speak metaphorically. Actually. It's actually actually meaningless how most people actually fill sentences with this word actually actually like stop it classy goodness looks like a persian prostitute won the lottery classy is the quintessential trump word a vulgar way to say you're not vulgar because once you said classy you're not voracious reader this is what people always call themselves when they want to impress me with how much they read. I can't help but think, if you really read that much, you'd have a more original way of sounding pretentious about it. All right. English is not body spray to hide your odiousness. Don't use vague words when precise ones already exist. For example, if you're a rapist, you're not all, yes, you're a rapist. And if you're a racist, you're not alt-right. You're a racist. Trust me, there's nothing right about you. Social justice warriors. Antifa. If you think it's an insult to accuse someone of being for social justice or against fascism, you need to work on your savage burn. Snowflake. Safe space. PC. You don't get to ridicule people for being too touchy when you get triggered by happy holidays, okay? Values. Everyone has values. When you call yourself a values voter, you suggest that yours are the only kind. This is not only hilariously pompous to the rest of us, it's really insulting to Jesus because your values never wind up being his. Another example of stealing a useful word from the rest of us? Patriot. If you have hashtag for Second Amendment in your Twitter profile, you're not a patriot. You're someone with a crazy gun fetish. Patriots support the whole Constitution, not just the parts that enable your toddlers to play Russian roulette. Exact same. Something is either the same or it is similar. Exact same is not similar to same, only better is the same as same. Exact opposite is the same as exact same. The opposite of correct. Wheelhouse. Oh, for heaven's sake, you don't know what this word means. Stop using it. Fake news. If you can't make news fit your politics, the problem isn't the news. Convenient is not a synonym for true, because the two sides to every story are true and false, not yours and mine. Facts are not political. Lies are. Blessed. God sat out the Holocaust. So do you really think he lifted a finger to get you that new Lexus? Religious freedom. Oh, don't call it freedom when it's about taking it away from someone else. You aren't against religious persecution. You just want to make sure you are the one doing it. Which, of course, brings us to America's most misused word. Christian. Christian only refers to people who follow the teachings of Jesus. So if you judge, divorce, retaliate, accumulate wealth, withhold that wealth from the poor, or pray in public, call yourself something that's the opposite of Christian. Republican.